Hey all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter eight, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started um, with number two. Now on these, if you wanna take the time to do this, you absolutely can. It tells you that one is three times or however many times as much as the other. You can add all those up if you really want to. I don't. Um, so I'm just gonna do the math, okay? So this says you run one and three quarter miles each day. Your friend runs four times as much as you do. So one and three quarters times four, okay? So four times one is four. Four times three is 12. And then I keep my denominator, okay? Now you'll notice that 12 is bigger than four. So I need to go four goes into 12 three times. That actually cancels that out because it goes in evenly. So your answer is seven. Seven miles. Okay. All right. So at the grocery store, Ayla buys one and a third pounds of turkey. Sasha buys two times as much. How much does Sasha buy? Two times one and one third. So here we go. Two times one is two. Two times one again is two. And I keep my denominator. Two and two thirds pounds. Okay. The last one is going to be four times one fifth. Okay. So this one. It's just going to wind up being four times one. We can just put it over one because we're not dealing with a whole number. We're just dealing with the, or sorry, we're not dealing with a mixed number. We're only dealing with a whole number. So four times one is four, and then four, one times five is five. So four fifths, and it's being measured in hours. So four fifths of an hour. Okay. We're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to go ahead and do the lesson check, and we're going to do some power review. Okay. So. Write an expression that is equal to two and one fourth. Okay. Uh, sorry, three times two and one fourth. So we could do three times two and three times one and quarter. Done. Okay. All right. At a bake sale, Ron sells seven eighths of an apple pie and five eighths of a cherry pie. All together, how much pie does he sell at a bake sale? So, seven eighths plus five eighths equals 12 eighths, okay? So, 12 eighths, mm, we can just put pie. Done, okay? All right. Write one measurement that is between three sixteenths and seven eighths inch on a ruler. Okay, so first we need to have a common denominator. Okay, well, the common denominator is going to be 16 between 8 and 16. So we have three sixteenths. Then, in order to get 8 to 16, I had to multiply it by 2. So I'm going to multiply the top by 2. So I get 14. 7 times 2 is 14. Okay, so any number that's between 3 and 14. So you could have Four sixteenths, five sixteenths, six sixteenths, all the way up to thirteen sixteenths. Okay, you could have any of those numbers. You just need to pick one. Okay. All right. Write a composite number that is less than five. Well, a composite number is just a number that can be multiplied to be gotten to. So let's go four. Okay, done. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for chapter eight. Come on back for chapter nine. See you soon.